here is this new package from CEX or Sex as it says on the advert. Um, so I guess let's jump in. Bit of a, you can see the first piece of package. Woohoo! Body a bit more. Yay! Looks more like a computer now. This is the last bit that needs to come off. So, here is a new computer. Well, with a bunch of packaging. Okay, I now have it out of the packaging. Well, not all of it, because there's even more packaging. The security seal. Okay, there's now an opening. Wowzers! I'll just open it up. Even more packaging. Even But there is the power, and here it is. Now, I'll take this out. Oh, wow. It is heavy. So, one second. Oh, here it is. Just gonna tear this thingy do that. see the first glimpse of computer hey. and here it is the Dell Optiplex 920 let's focus yes. with the Intel Core i7 you know, and the specifications are in the description below yeah, it's really small. I think it's a small form factor. But this thing is real small. As you can see, it's got a fan, it's got a um, you know, hard drive and stuff. Um, here is a PCI Express port. So I've actually got a graphics card, and that'll be going in there. Hopefully, if it fits. <laughs> I hope it does fit. And then you would obviously take off the uh, the panels down here. And there you go. You've now. You would obviously have the graphics card. So yeah, great. Okay, so now a tree. Will it glow up? I'll plug it in. Ooh. The fans turned on for a second and then turned off again. But Will it work? That's the question. Um, I can grab the remote. This TV. Uh, I think it's on HDMI 2, so I would. Oh, come on. Here it comes. So we want HDMI 2. No. So let's see if this works. And it's booting into Windows. I'm gonna grab the mouse. It's 
very silent. Can you hear that? Really silent. Here we go. Okie dokie, it has muted, but there is some notable deform. I don't know if that's with the VGA or the computer or whatever, or the screen, I don't know. I'll wait for it to load up. Also, I'm using some dodgy adapter because this thing doesn't have HDMI at the moment, and this screen it can take VGA, but it doesn't work. So I have to convert it to HDMI. Which is rather annoying. Okay. So it's booted in, but it's very, very um, wrong uh, aspect ratio. So I will fix that now. Okay, due to video display problems, um, it had to come to this rubbish monitor because it. Oops. It has. Um, Display port, but not HDMI, so I'm gonna have to wait for the graphics card which is coming tomorrow to be actually able to put it into this display. Um, so, yeah, um, but I'm for education purposes only, not for actually playing it. I've installed the Epic Games launcher and I'm gonna play a bit of Fortnite, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, so here we've obviously got Fortnite installing. Okay, so we're installing Fortnite very, very, very slowly, mostly because we're going off this Netgear adapter, um, running uh, Ethernet because we just haven't got Wi Fi, which is very common on desktop computers. Um, so it's totally fine by me. I've got no problem running off this thing, but I know some people would. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fine. Um, so, yeah, it's on 25%. I'll be back when it's finished. I don't know what this thing is. I don't know what it is. But, hey -ho. Yeah, it's working great. So, just for comparison, here is one of our old computers. And then the new one. So, this is a small form factor. And this is just a power. So, as you can see, there's quite notable um you know downsize so in here you'll see the PCI Express slot and there's one in here too um I don't actually know where the RAM is at the moment but yeah it, it it's obviously somewhere there's the RAM you can see it there and here's the RAM here DDR2 DDR3, I think. But yeah, of course. This one is less accessible if you want to like upgrade stuff, but obviously you can. Um, this one is obviously just bulky and stuff. However, you do obviously get the access to the PCI Express slot, which is why I need to add my graphics card in. So I'm running Maxon Simi Bench um, to look at the performance of the um, CPU at the moment and then I'll add the graphics card later. So this is the OpenGL one and then I'll do the CPU one. So yeah, it's going great. Now we're going to run the CPU one. So we're just going to press the run button and it will start running it. Yeah, I've seen this before. 
So, um, yeah, let's see how it does. So right now it's just testing the performance of the CPU while rendering a 3D image on Cinevent R15 by Maxon. So, so it's performance render test, so it's rendering the image. It's nearly finished. It's got this bar to do and then bit here. And there we go, it got 750 CB, so I'm guessing that's Cinebench score, so yeah, got quite high in the ranks, so yeah, great. And here it is, the new graphics card, let's go open it. First bit of graphics card can be seen. And now the black packaging is gone. We're getting closer and closer to getting it open. Now the bubble wrap is gone and we're ready to just rip this bad boy open. Down to just the graphics card and it's even more packaging for me to rip open. Here it is. We're going to open it right up. And there is my puppy, my new graphics card with, what's this, DVI and HDMI, nicely packaged up by CEX, or SEX as it says on the adverts. <laughs> okay, so we're going to open this puppy up, opens like an envelope or whatever. Don't know why I use that metaphor. Oh, they've even put a cover on the PCI slot. But is it gonna fit? It. Hmm. If I get this out of the way, possibly. Oh, here we go. We're going to open the slots on the back and then we'll be back. We're going to put this into the PCI Express slot. So I just took away the finger doodads. And we're going to try and push it in. There it goes. And he's in. There we go. The computer is now booting up using the HDMI from the graphics card. Ow, my head! <laughs> There's the HDMI going into the graphics card slot and it is working. Oh yes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're back on Cine Cinewrench R15 after installing the graphics card. So we're going to run the OpenGL. So it should start. So... As you see, we uh, now that we've got the um, graphics card, I've... Um, had a new display. So there we go. I'll be back when it's done. Okay, so I'm back after the OpenGL test and it got 100.52 FPS. So I'll just compare that now. Time for the CPU benchmark. I doubt it will change, but let's have a look. Also, here are the graphic card vents. So this one's right at the top um, compared to these other ones. So that's pretty good. 
And now we're back to the CPU and I think that's the same, but we'll just check now. Okay, so I actually just found this out on a video on YouTube, but there's this software called MSI Afterburner and uh, Combustor and you can overclock your graphics card. So that's what I've done. I've got the fan speed on 100, I've got the memory clock on 700 and I've got the core clock on 220. So that's running okay. So everyone, um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy um, on this computer, in fact this video was edited on it and it's going really well, I'm overclocking my GPU. So thank you for watching, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.